Hi guys, in my last video I have implemented a Sokoban game and if you have watched that video that you probably remember that there were a couple of issues related to user input as well as rendering uh, like a user space to screen so as far as I wanted to make this game uh, kind of cross-platform and I really wanted to, uh, Windows users uh, to be able to follow that little tutorial and actually to run the game on their computers uh, so that was w that was the particular reason for choosing such a, a weird way of making a game that you wouldn't really like to have actually and uh, bearing this in mind uh, I've come uh, to the some sort of solution uh, of how to make uh, the same I've done in the last video but uh, maybe in a more decent way so uh, that's how the idea of creating a very basic console game library dedicated for the beginners who want to write their own games uh, was actually born so in this particular video I'd like to introduce uh, this library I've written a couple of days ago and uh, what it does, it provides uh, two, two things. It provides uh, a, some sort of, uh, uh, well, maybe encourages like screen. You can call this like like so maybe. Well, I I it's much more primitive uh, compared to encourages for sure. Well, well, but it does provide some uh, uh, kind of screen you would expect if you are playing a console game. So without any scrolling like. Uh, in buffered mode uh, in, in Linux terminal or when you have the Windows console also some scrolling is quite is probably quite annoying if you're playing a game uh, so th this is the particular code and probably before actually ever diving into the explanation of what it does uh, I'd probably just demonstrate you the version uh, that was created uh, with the help of this library. So uh, I've modified the code of my Sokoban game a bit and now it looks like this. So just a single uh, press of the button and the boxes are actually moving and also you can see only one little frame over here so no scrolling now and now it looks like a kind of real game so as far as I complete it I actually win and also uh, please know that uh, in this uh, this particular library helps you to uh, print uh, the text at the coordinates like exactly like in Encurses or in Conio.h uh, that was on DOS uh, there was such a library and also uh, Linux terminal is now uh, I well it's not in the like raw mode but uh, the get char uh, function uh, doesn't require uh, a new line feed character at this moment and now absolutely the same game uh, I'd like to show absolutely the same game but the Windows version. So, as far as I'm on Linux, I would be using the Wine emulator in order to run this. But still, uh, it doesn't matter really. Uh, so here is absolutely the same game. But this is well. Imagine this is running on Windows. Well, even though in to in I even though it's just a Wine emulator, but still absolutely the same and now as far as I put this box to the right uh, it would exit ex exit like just like the Windows console would usually do so oh maybe I lost oh did I open another oh what is this did I open just another oh maybe I just <laughs> open this couple of times let me see oh Yeah, yeah, so just probably open this uh, for a couple of times. Okay, guys, so this is actually what this uh, particular library is about to provide. And now let me briefly uh, explain uh, how this implemented. And uh, you probably know that uh, there is quite a bit of difference 
between Linux terminal and Windows console. Well, actually, the Linux terminal is some, is a, some sort of, a, of an emulator uh, of uh, some kind of terminals that w were back in the days in 80s or 70s. I don't know. It was very long time ago, apparently. And Linux uh, terminal actually kind of tributes to those uh, hardware devices that were very long time ago. While the Windows command line is just yet another application under Windows, so it doesn't it didn't support uh, NC escape sequences until Windows 10, if I'm not mistaken, but not really enabled by default, if memory serves me correctly, and and so on. So they are quite a bit of difference. So that's the reason why this library actually has been written, just in order to provide this difference uh, and actually with the help of the of this particular library you could have write a cross-platform games well they're quite primitive but still they're cross-platform and that's the main reason for creating this library so the f at first we would have a couple of definitions so the screen width and the screen height uh, are set to the standard values well basically on Linux this is more like 80 to 24, but on Windows it's 80 to 25, so I decided to keep this value as 25 for the height here. Also include the standard input-output and uh, define the screen size uh, while multiplying the screen width by screen height. And now the most interesting thing here is this little uh, screen array. Uh, of the s size of the screen size, so 80 multiplied by 25. You could, uh, you can actually change these values, but in order to have the correct result, you have to adjust the size of your console. So uh, now I have the console of 80 for, for multiplied by 24 can characters, and if I just make it a bit, a bit more, uh, you see that uh, here in the center the size has been changed so if I have console like this and I want to run the game in, in such a resolution so here I had to put 90 and the height is about to be 30 it's about to be 30 well so uh, you know when you j just bear this in mind when you change this change these values you have to adjust manually the size of your uh, of your console window well either on Linux or on Windows doesn't matter real okay so let me just restore my terminal back and now the uh, uh, kind of platform dependent part is starting so in case uh, we are compiling this particular library with the help of uh, well I've tested this with uh, mean GW compiler uh, uh, that's the uh, GCC port uh, on Windows well, I, I don't know about the others. So, well, if you run kind of sort of code blocks ID on Windows, that this should have compiled just just fine. So, in case of Windows, uh, we include uh, some platform specific headers here, and also create uh, some system variables to handle the behavior of the Windows console. And I just also forgot to say that this screen array would serve us as the screen buffer that we're going uh, directly to print in. Uh, okay, and after we would be refreshing this the screen in order to show the screen buffer kind of reference uh, around on the screen. And also in case of if uh, you're compiling under Unix-like systems like Linux, in this case uh, a bunch of header files uh, is also involved here and these are basically needed uh, to make it easier, well to, to make it actually possible to put uh, the terminal to the row mode for the time when the get character function has been, has been called. Well, and now uh, it's not usually that good way of doing things when you uh, when in the header file instead of just uh, having the uh, function definitions uh, here I have the entire function bodies but the reason for doing this uh, I want to make the compilation as simple as possible so 
uh, by only in only by including this simple game.h file into your project you can actually uh, start writing your own games so you don't need to link any libraries and I, as far as this is created for beginners I consider this to be quite useful so in the init screen part uh, if we are compiling under Windows that uh, all this piece of code does it actually says the screen buffer as the default this one screen buffer sets the screen buffer as as the default uh, console uh, to print characters to and in case of uh, Unix like system what I do here is actually uh, I hide the cursor also uh, on Windows hide the cursor as well and uh, I don't remember what this particular escape sequence does not sure hide cursor oh I clear and that's yeah that it's, it just clears the screen so to make the screen just uh, erased completely so nothing on the screen and the uh, and this is where the difference are arising basically so this are the uh, VD hundred uh, terminal escape sequences which are used even now in uh, our in our days okay and uh, the next function uh, is the refresh screen well here I've added a piece of code that is uh, actually uh, cle uh, converts uh, every uh, cell on the screen every el every element of the screen array uh, if it is equal to zero uh, it converts uh, its, its element to the white space well in my particular wine emulator if you don't do this you would have lots of uh, zero like characters uh, in the screen where you would expect to be to, to see just nothing just white spaces so well if you're on Windows might be this particular part of code is not really needed so you could have command you could have tried to command this and see what happens actually and maybe let me know in the commentaries I, I really wonder about this well and now uh, we have to update the screen buffer so the last element of the screen array is about to be zero just to avoid any uh, kind of issues uh, could be caused by write console output character function so we have to terminate this uh, terminate this particular screen buffer and actually what we do then is we uh, kind of update uh, we print to this basically we just print to this screen uh, what is in this screen array so uh, by default uh, console has the std out uh, as the array to show the user whatever but in our case we use uh, our own uh, screen array so as far as we can't directly write to the std out well at least somewhere I found this implementation okay well, not somewhere. It's I, I found this at the One Lone Coders uh, YouTube channel, and he uses this uh, quite heavily, and uh, especially in his uh, OLC console game engine. But that's uh, not really that. That's much more complicated complicated compared to this one. But in order to have some Linux port, it uses uh, an SDL library, and I don't really want to use any third-party libraries in order to make in order to make it as easier as easy as possible. And in case of uh, we're on Linux, the only thing we need is just by using a simple escape sequence to print uh, the particular screen coordinates, whatever we want. We actually just print this little screen array each time. So each time at the very first uh, coordinate, like the beginning of the coordinates, zero, zero, we print this screen and uh, you have seen the behavior when I was showing you the Sokoban game so it looks absolutely the same uh, and now just before uh, uh, having a look at this print map function let me just demonstrate a couple more uh, uh, like important ones so uh, here uh, are two uh, versions of the get character function that doesn't echo the character that uh, we are actually processing as the user input so just the Windows version as well as the Linux uh, or Unix version the Unix version actually puts 
the terminal into no echo mode. Well, X, uh, probably the same is done on Windows. Well, this code was stolen by me, was stolen by me from somewhere from the Stack Overflow or, or maybe somewhere else. I don't really remember. So, okay, then I just have only a general understanding of what it does, but it works quite nicely. And I know that's not really the good way to copy paste code, but I just really say that I did this. I'm a code monkey king, so <laughs> I can do things like that. I uh, hope you're sorry. Uh, you forgive me this, guys. Well, uh, and also, I'm not a Windows user, so I have no idea about this Windows P details. So just understand what this code does. Don't really know how exactly it does it, but it just allows us to get the character without any uh, echoing it. Well, and in case of Linux, uh, we just uh, simply do two things. Uh, we adjust the terminals uh, struct here. Have to the old and the new t new new terminal and old terminal. It's called attributes here. And we actually wanted to do we want to do two things. The first is to uh, switch out the echoing and another is just to switch out the line buffered input so a new line fit is not really uh, needed uh, to is not needed to be in as an input so no enter uh, no press in the enter just press the key and you get the character and finally this leaf function that is uh, supposed to uh, uh, make some housekeeping work. Well, on Linux it actually restores the cursor, so the cursor is now visible again, and as far as nothing has really been changed, so the terminal remains in the cook mode as it was, which is before the execution. That this is pr pretty it, kind of. And in case of Windows, uh, I'm just making the cursor visible and mm, yeah, and just update this. Uh, but the problem in this piece of code uh, is if you run this, if you if you just start the uh, cmd.exe uh, Windows console, and then you run uh, this program, any any game written with the game .h library, and if you run this, the game would be working just nicely. But after your exit, uh, the console would remain messed up. And to be honest, I have no idea how to. Uh, make uh, something to just make to just to restore this uh, to the to its particular state so guys if you're on windows uh, if you're some uh, if you know how to restore the console on windows that i would greatly appreciate if you contribute uh, to this repository and just uh, add some code that would restore the windows console so or at least just let me know in the commentaries of how to do this or maybe giving me some links it was for I was googling about how to do this and without having a native Windows machine only using the wine it's not really that easy to achieve the goal of uh, trying to make the console uh, to return this to the state where it was just before uh, switching the screen buffer and so on so I really I would really appreciate your help Okay, this is it for this particular vi video, and in the next couple of videos, uh, I'm going to show you how to basically use uh, this the library uh, on some on some examples maybe, and uh, then I would also cover this uh, print map function of what partic what particularly it does, and would actually demonstrate this. Okay, see you next videos, guys. Have a good time.